Well, everybody, let's let's ask ourselves a quick question. It's why are we here? Uh, you're here for a reason that you don't know about yet. This is the first time ever that a group of business owners in, in a local city, luckily the fourth largest city in the nation, have gotten together in one room and are all going to be cr creating Google Plus business pages. So we have a chance to get all to know all of each other. It's the first time a group of Google business pages for Google Plus business owners have all gotten together. And, and you can support and help each other build your pages and build your followings. Uh, we're going to be looking at how to share, how to comment, and how to bring Phoenix together as a networked group of businesses. And the way we do that is by resharing each other's posts on Google+. We're going to be taking a look how to do that with Google Plus business pages and your personal profiles. It's a little tricky and it, it's kind of it's kind of hard to do, but we're going to be looking very deeply into that. And we're going to be talking nuts and bolts and I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create a Google Plus business page. Well, let me tell you, Google Plus business pages are a dime a dozen. No one cares about your page. No one cares about your product. We're going to be taking a look at how to make them care and, and how to engage them and how to overcome that hurdle. Uh, if, if you've heard of Occupy in the 99%, us as business owners are viewed as the one percent we sell a product and when you sell a product you become part of the one percent in your consumers eyes it's not a good place to be and in people that sell things are having a very hard time these days the economy's crap i live in awatuki all the businesses are empty the only thing all the corporate businesses are gone and the, the ones that are still there are slowly going out of business. The people that are left in Ahwatukee in my little corner of town are, are mom and pop business owners. And they're surviving because they've created relationships with not their customers, but their clients and their friends. And, and I think Google Plus is going to allow you to move from having a Google Places pages page that's about you to, you know, more of an interaction that's that's about the client. It's going to give you a chance to get to know your clients. Now, I sell things on the internet, so I'm here to get to know what you folks need so I can design my products for Google Plus to be better. And we're going to talk about how you can do that uh, using Google Plus business pages and your personal profiles as well. So let's move on quickly here and let's talk about now, I'm going to try to keep this short so you folks can all share your business pages and get to know each other, take down some URLs, some names. I'm going to show you how to easily find all of each other. And I'm going to create a page tonight that you can all log into on Google Plus and post the URL to your new page over the course of the weekend so that we can all find each other and get to know each other there. So we'll start personal relationships in this room and we will follow them onto Google Plus. Let's move on fast here if I can. Now, I'm going to be talking about building a brand tonight. And this is something that uh, I thought I knew a lot about after making my living online for 12 years. And uh, uh, Jeff Hershey, a gentleman that, that Roy and I met at uh, Howie's house this time of year, about a year ago, at uh, Howie's personal mastermind there in Connecticut, and, and a gentleman that's usually here. Real smart guy. Uh, you know, it, it's hard for me at, at 47 years old to take advice from a 30-year-old 30, a, a 30 kid. This guy knows what he's doing. And he came over to my house, Shiaotuki, and he totally ripped my brands apart. And I realized after 12 years I was doing it wrong. So now I'm thinking more about brands. I'm thinking about memorable brands. I'm thinking about brands that return an obvious benefit to the person that sees them as soon as they see them without them having to think at all. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to begin to build a brand tonight. You're going to see me build my Google Plus brand for the first time anywhere. No one knows about this except for Jeff Hershey and my wife Margie. So, one of my favorite brands lately has been created by Chris Anderson. He wrote the book free. Uh, you can pick this book up at Fry's in the discount shelf for three bucks. Three bucks. Go buy it. Uh, if you've heard about the SEO guys use the term long tail, 
Chris Anderson's prior book was called The Long Tail, and he coined that phrase. I love this book, and I'm going to be reading this book highly. And, and uh, you're talking about apps. Apps are really hard to sell in the Android market, but that's because they're doing it wrong. You want to bring the person to the app for free, get them involved, and then sell them an upgrade later on. So if you're, if you're selling anything along that kind of line, member sites, uh, engagements, apps, uh, coaching, anything, you want to read free. So that's, that's just a tip from the outside. Brands tell the person that what they're going to get is about them. Now I created a, uh, a, a piece of apps a software for mobile apps called Gadget MVP. And Jeff Hershey came over and said that it's just awful. That is the worst brand in the world. I have no idea what that is. It doesn't even have the word apps in it. Well, that's because every domain around apps was already taken. So it, it took us quite some time. It took him about five minutes. And, and we're going to completely rebrand and relaunch our app, Creation Studio Gadget MVP, as another brand that allows you to get it. And we're going to kind of roll up our sleeves here. We're going to sit down. We're going to take a look at Google Plus right now. And we're going to begin to build my new brand on Google Plus. Here we have my Google Plus page. So why are you going to listen to me about Google Plus? When I was here with Roy uh, the, in the last time I spoke four months ago, uh, I, I created my Google Plus page for you. As you can see here in the bottom right, I have 15,550 followers in four months. That's why you're going to listen to me. Because in four months, I probably picked up more followers on Google Plus than any of you have on Twitter, Facebook, and your email list all put together. Anybody got more than 15,000 all followers, all told, in your email list, your Twitter, and your Facebook following? Well, I'll tell you, this is the first time I've hit a home run like this. And it's because you can scoop up the low-hanging fruit on Google right now. There is no competition in your niche. There isn't anyone. And if there is anyone, it's not that hard to beat them. So the new thing that's come along, this is my personal profile. The new thing that's come along is what's called Google Plus Business Pages. The first thing you're going to want to learn is everything you need to find for to admin your Google Plus business page is found on the Home tab. There's uh, the Photos tab, there's a tab to get your personal profile, there's a tab to organize your circles, there's a tab for games. I have to play Zombie Lane heavily if anyone plays Zombie Lane on Google Plus. Play it with me, I, I accept all friend invites, I play the thing all day long, I love it. So does my wife Margie, so we want to we want to send you all those little energy uh, uh, drinks that you need to, to keep playing that silly game. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is everything you need to find is on your Google Plus Home tab. Yeah, something that Roy taught me is when, what do you do when you go to the grocery store? You always look up to see the navigation. Yeah, home is your top level page you're looking up. So you're going to be kind of confused about where things are at at times. This gets it all out of the way right now. So once you've created pages by going to your home tab, think of this as your Facebook wall, this is your incoming stream, you will see two different drop downs. Underneath that drop down, you can find the various pages that you've created. When Roy tried creating his first one, I got about what, 10 emails? How do I find this? How do I find it? It, it's all right underneath your home tab in this little drop down once you've created them, allowing you to manage your pages, allows you to go in to edit them, and to find your pages, you can find them easily. One of my, I have basically four brands. I have four brands. My, my, my main brand is Chris Lang. My, my next brand is Email Delivery Jedi, about email delivery, website, uh, 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 WordPress security, and a whole lot of malicious software blocking platforms that are out there that can easily mistakenly block your site completely. And it happens all the time. The false positives are, are, are killers. This is one of my main products is Email Delivery Jedi. Of course, I also own EmailDeliveryJedi.com. 
So we're taking a look at one of my pages. Let's let's begin to build a new brand. And let's get on with making this about you here. Now you could participate as the page. Well, and we'll go into why and how that works in just a bit. So you start at your top level page, logged in as yourself. Scroll down on the right, and you will see create a page. You can find all of basically all of your admin links you can find on your home tab. Once you realize that, it becomes a lot easier. And that's it, the first thing you need to know is that you're looking for any kind of admin stuff is going to be on that home tab. So now you click that link, and we can show you where that was once again. So if you haven't created any pages, you don't see any listed in the drop down. Now you want to scroll down, and on that home page on the right hand side, in the right hand navigation, you'll see create a page. You can create a page. Now the page is organized into a number of different niches. And you can see here you can create a local business page. If you are a local business and you have a Google Places page, this is the one that you want to create. So if you're currently marketing your business as a local brick and mortar business through a Places page, you definitely want to pursue this link. When you do, <clears throat> it will ask you to put in the phone number that's associated with your Google Places page, and the next step will show you the actual Google Places page. And now you're telling Google that this is associated with your Places page. And we're predicting that Google Plus local pages are going to replace Google Places pages linked directly from search. So if you're a consultant to other businesses, pay a lot of attention here to learn how to use this. This is going to be very valuable information your clients are going to want to know. Next, you can create a product or a brand. Now, I definitely am going to be creating a, a product and a brand. Uh, also, we can I'll show one of the other uh, top level. Uh, you have to pick one here, guys. The, uh, the next one is co uh, companies, organizations, institutions, nonprofits. So if you're Ford, this is where you want to go. If you're uh, my friend that owns a uh, uh, recovering from cancer nonprofit, this is where you would want to create your, uh, your place. Now, let's say you're uh, Fox News. Or let's say you're Good Morning America. It's doing very well with uh, uh, places engagement. This next category here, arts, entertainment, and sports. If you're media, uh, if, if, you're, if you're, say, one of the big people on YouTube that creates basically a TV show through YouTube episodes, this is a place for you. Other, this is if you want to create a Google page in a moniker. All Google profiles must use real Google names. You cannot use monikers. Now, if you want to create a Radar Roy page, this would be the place you would do it. Rated mine under product or brand. That's, that's okay, too. I would rather be under product or brand. So far, there isn't really any difference in the features. Expect that over the course of 2012, Google is going to niche out and create special features just for each of these kind of categories. And especially starting with uh, local business or places and connect to either augmenting your current Google Places page or replacing it altogether.